you found yourself downloading a simulator and playing with it a little bit and now you feel like you can fly except there's one major consideration that I don't know if you considered and if you don't you're pretty much guaranteed to wreck your drone but don't worry in today's video I'm gonna show you how to set up your Alvada 2 to kind of correlate or I should say fly similarly to your simulator are you ready let's get started so you're up in the air you're flying manual and just to be clear let's pause this drone right now let's go into the settings just so we're on the same page we're going into control we're going into remote controller and as you can see your custom mode is set to manual which is very important come back up your gain and expo your gain and expo come down and your mode your altitude mode is off you don't have this on you've turned it off confirm that it's off you're on your own you're ready to fly manual but when you go to do a flip with the Avada you realize oh my gosh this thing is flipping really really slow compared to the simulator let's go again look at that in that time that it takes to do that flip you could be on the ground now for me it's fine I'm high up off the ground but there's no way there is no way I want to be this low and trying it you can pull it off whoa but it's it's just it's not advisable so what you do is you come over back into your settings you go back into control you go back into remote controller come back over to gain an expo you will see some numbers up here what you're looking for is rate your roll basically where it is right now this is your roll you roll left or you roll right how fast do you roll 450 is what you have right now your pitch is this going forward and back or flipping forward or flipping back how fast do you want to flip that's your pitch and then the last one is your yaw which is this and this and this and this we'll talk about sensor sensitivity and expo in another video but as a beginner you don't want to complicate things let's start with the simple easy thing which is max rates now for max rates you're not even going to touch your yaw don't even touch the yaw because the yaw is this you don't want this going fast what you want going fast is to flip forward the flip back the flip right which is the roll and the flip left so let's start with the roll it's stock everything stock is at 450 we're going to take it to about 680 680 for beginners how about there and then your pitch same thing 680 oh going the wrong way 680 now you might like faster i don't know what you were flying in the sim but sure as heck you weren't flying 450 in the sim that's a fact so you set these two to 680 now your yaw you don't really want to touch your yaw because you don't want this moving too fast that will get you disoriented what you want is to flip forward to flip back the flip right and the flip left which is the roll to go a little faster i'm going to go back into manual here we go we're going to fly and then we're going to flip a lot faster look at that a lot faster now if the, look at the roll a lot faster way faster compared to 450 now if i were you i'm going to hit pause this is still in my opinion a little too slow but if speed gets you disoriented leave it there it's a good starting point 800 is for me is the sweet spot now it also means it's going to flip you a enormously fast so be careful what you do is what i'm doing now you go high go into manual mode and then you flip and you see how you like it if it's too fast then slow those rates down if it's good and you can find yourself centering up the drone really easily then you found yourself a good rate if it's hard to center up the drone just hit the pause button and go slow your rates down a little by little everyone is different so different rates depending on your age depending on your reflexes depending on the style of flight that you like to fly if you're looking for nice smooth cinematic footage i will even slow it down or leave it at 450 
But if I'm looking to learn some and tinker with some FPV freestyle and maybe hit some gaps or openings and stuff and I want to do some quick flips, I will start somewhere around seven, eight hundred. Again, once you keep it high and you flip and you say, okay, this is not bad. I could center up myself quickly before I fall. This is not bad. I can do this. And you do a little flip and you flip forward or flip back, do a little flip, flip forward, flip back, roll and see, okay, I'm correcting myself pretty fast. You don't want to do this over water. You don't want to go over water here and do this unless you know what you're doing. Don't, don't, don't do it over the water. Please, please don't. Got tons of time to flip and I don't even drop. Look at that. Right? And I got way enough time to correct myself. That's how people do the flips and stuff low to the ground because you got to be able to flip fast. If you're flipping very slow, then chances are you will hit. And most people going from simulator to something like the Avada 2, which is more of a cinematic, slow moving type of drone, at least that's the way it was set out the box, will find difficulty and can find themselves crashing i don't want you guys to get discouraged so i hope this video was helpful to speed things up so you can practice your flips and rolls and agility with the dji avada too if you found some value from this video give it a huge thumbs up make sure you hit like make sure you hit subscribe make sure you hit the bell to get notified when i release more avada 2 videos with that being said if you're looking for lots for your d log on your avada 2 or any other drone for that matter head over to www w.dronexfactor.com i've got a pack of luts there definitely you'll find one that's pleasing to your avada or any other dji drone that shoots d-log or d -Cinolite. if you need more help think about becoming a patron it's only one dollar a month that's twelve dollars a year i'll leave a link in the description section you can reach out to me there on your phone it's like sending me a text message it comes right to my phone and i can respond and answer any questions for you or maybe even make a video that will benefit you if you're not sure how to begin flying manual with your avada 2 check this link for this video up here i will help you through the process step by step and if you guys want me to make more videos hit me up in the comment section below that way i know but until then i will catch you guys well in the next one